so here's how it goes. Uh, the first step is obviously adding the uh, the game to Steam, uh, and the way to do that is adding a um, a shortcut. So you go add a non-Steam game, and then usually you would pick PCSX2 from the list, but I already have it added, so it's not showing up on the list. So I'm just gonna pick 7-Zip because it's the first one there. And you do add selected program. When you go down and find it, so like for example, it's right there hit properties and you're going to want to obviously change this in my case because I picked 7-zip instead of Chrome, I mean instead of PCSX2. So I go track down PCSX2 let's say okay so usually yours would look like this already, it would have PCSX2 in here. And what you want to do is add the name of the game or the file name for the game in here. So in my case my games are all here and this is the PCSX2 I was just using, so I want to pick a game, so let's say, what's easy to pick here? I don't know, Dark Cloud, let's say. So you would copy the file name, you would paste it in here, then you would do full screen and no GUI. Uh, oh, right, we should probably change the name of this. Uh, Dark Cloud example because I think I already have dark cloud in there close that out as you can see now it's showing up as dark cloud in here and if I were to launch it it'll launch the game dark cloud and actually I could probably do that right now let me see alright so that's dark cloud close out of it so as you can see, the icon right now is uh, is PCSX2, so we want to change that. This is where my instructions on the post started. You right click, you go into properties, and you choose the icon. So I have uh, some icons here on my computer that I've already made. So I go, Steam cover art is where I have it. It's a PNG file, dark cloud right there. As you can see, it's just the cover art for dark cloud. So that's that step. Uh, for adding the custom banner, you have to come into Grid View, which you go to View, Games Grid. Then we go down to Dark Cloud, which is, oh, here it is, Dark Cloud. Right click on it, a Set Custom Image. You browse, and then you look for the image where you have it saved, which again, in my case, is in here. I have them saved as PNGs, but it doesn't matter. You can save them as JPEGs if you'd like. Dark style cloud, set image, and there it is. That's that's basically all you need to do. If you have any questions, just go ahead and post in that Reddit thread and I'll help you guys out.